So there we have the blanket stitched little girl's booty. Now the next thing we're going, going to do is we're going to sew lace, uh, excuse me, ribbon to the shoe to make the tie. This is the one that I already did. This is our example. And we're going to sew these ribbons on for ties by hand and sew on the little bow on the toe of the booty. Now for the boys' booties, um, they're done just a little bit differently. I'll show you those as soon as we get the little girls' booties done. To tie on, uh, to sew on the ribbon, fold under about a half inch or so of the ribbon and make this little loop, and then insert your needle from the back side of the ribbon to the front and then do that one more time and that will hold that ribbon together so that when you get ready to sew it on um, the loop doesn't try to open up on you. Again I'm going to trim the tails of my ribbon so they don't show. Now see I can turn loose and that loop is going to stay there so I'm going to take it and I'm going to center it over this little scallop on the front of the um, top of the booty and then I'm just going to make two or three stitches by hand here to attach it to the the booty. Now because I put the knot on the back side of the ribbon when I first started ma to make that loop that knot is going to be hidden. We're not going to see it on the inside of the booty. Okay so I've done that three or four times. Now I'm going to go through the, the felt but when I come back through to the front I'm going to come up under the ribbon instead of all the way through the ribbon and I'm going to flip that little loop back out of place and run my needle through the stitches that I've made pull it up then I'm going to come under and insert my needle through that loop pull it tight and then this time I'm going to go from the top through the loop and pull it tight and that's going to knot our thread so that it won't come undone and then I'm going to cut it close. So it's very quick We've got one little tie sewn on the girl's shoe, and we'll quickly do the other. And when you sew, we get ready to sew the bow on the toe of the the um, the booty. It's about the same thing. You want to make a knot in your double thread in your needle and put it through the back side of the bow once or twice to take, anchor it and then we'll take it to the booty and sew it on. Okay, so I've got my loops on. It's not going to come undone. I'm not going to have to fight with it while I'm trying to stitch it to the booty. And I'll hold it in place and make several stitches. We've used eyelets in the past, but the felt is really fragile and it's difficult to get the eyelets to stay so I decided this time that sewing the ribbons directly to the felt is probably just that much better for those that are making the booties and for the nurses that would be dressing the babies. Okay, and again I'm going to go through these stitches that I made and pull that tight. I'm going to do that again. I'm going the opposite direction this time and pull it really tight and then trim close. So we've got a cute little booty. Now before I tie that I'm going to sew the bow on the toe of the booty. Again make a knot by rolling it around my finger and sliding it off. I didn't leave much of a tail that time so I don't have anything really to trim off. Now there's a there is thread on the back of this bow where they have wrapped it around to create the bow effect and keep it in place and I'm just running under it and through just a little bit of the ribbon to hold it in place. So now I've got it anchored to the, the thread anchored to the bow and I'm going to place my bow on my booty, take a stitch into the felt. There is a center scallop on this particular booty as you can see with the little girls shoe. It's right here in the center so I'm going to do my stitch centered just below that center scallop. Bring the needle
go up and then I'm going to insert it back through that thread on the back side of the bow. There's a lot of things to keep out of the way here. All right, we got the ribbon out of the way. Just need to be gentle with this felt. It is not a tightly bonded felt. Felt is not woven like most fabrics are. It's just kind of matted together and fused together. And you can't pull on it very difficult, very forcefully or it'll pull the stitches right through the felt. Now this time, I'm going, I've am going. i gone through the felt and come out on the other side, but this time I'm going to come up through the ribbon, right by the purl, there, and then I'm going to insert my needle through the purl, pull it through, and then go down close to that purl on the other side, coming back under the, the bow on the back side. I'll do that one more time and then I'll knot the, my thread and tie it, cut it off. Back through the center of the pearl, down through the ribbon, through the felt, out the other side, snug, and then fold the booty out of the way. I'm going to push the needle through the threads underneath the ribbon bow here, make the loop that I'm going through. And pull that snug and then we're going to go back the other way pull it snug and clip it off and again that the inside of that booty is nice and neat there's just a couple of little stitches as you can see where we sewed the ribbons on all that shows is a tiny little bit of thread where we stitch that makes it very clean and neat if you were doing something for a living child if you were to do a similar pair of booties, you'd want to do that because then you wouldn't have the knot to rub on their ankles. It would be much more comfortable. If I could tie a bow here for you, that would be nice. As I get older, I have more and more trouble tying bows with my fingers that are a bit arthritic. I used to pride myself on tying a teeny tiny little bow, and anymore I can't do that. There we go. So we have a, a darling little pair of little girls' booties. And then I was going to show you the difference on the little boy booties. What we did here, we did the loop on the side of the booty, just like we did on the girls, made the loop and stitched it. But instead of just leaving it loose, after stitching it on, we threaded the ribbon through the embroidery needle and took it out through the front of this flap on the shoe. Untie it there so you can see. Spaced them about a quarter of an inch apart, pulling in one from each side. And then when we tie that bow, it pulls it up snug. Makes it look like a little boy's Oxford. Like so. So that is our booties. And hopefully this will explain clear enough to you how to do them and if you have any questions on Saturday morning, hopefully we can answer those and we'll get all 163 pairs of booties completed.